Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can customize your Samsung keyboard exactly the way how you want it on the Samsung Galaxy S22 series. So before we begin uh, to customize the keyboard, we need to install some additional uh, features on your device. So first let's go into the app screen. So from your home screen, swipe up and go into the app screen and open up Galaxy Store, so open up the Samsung Galaxy Store and tap on the search icon at the top. In here, tap on Good Luck, so type in Good Luck and then we're going to install Good Luck, so tap on the install button. Now because I have already installed Good Luck, so I will not be able to install it again. So go ahead and install the Good Luck app on your device. After that, you want to install some additional component so in here we're going to install the keys cafe module so search for keys cafe and again install keys cafe it is part of the good luck application once both of them are installed on your device so in here you can see if i go into my app screen i can open up good luck it should be somewhere in here so Good Luck and Keys Cafe, you can see they are both right next to each other. If I tap on Good Luck, you can see Good Luck has opened. This is the app. And inside the app, this app, there are many different modules that you can install separately. Now, some of them I have already downloaded. And for example, there is another module here called Clock Face. Nice shot. Now, because I haven't installed any of this module down here, then I can tap on it to install the module. You can see here if I tap on it, it will allow me to install the module. And then tap on install. And that will install the module into the Good Lock app. All right, so because we have already installed the key, uh, Keys Cafe, so if I go back to my Good Lock app, so go back to Good Lock, and in here if I tap on Family tab at the bottom, you can see there is one module up here at the top called Keys Cafe. So what you want to do is open up Keys Cafe. This module here will allow you to fully customize your Samsung keyboard. Now, if you go in here and turn on Make Your Own Keyboard, tap on the switch, which will allow you to customize your own keyboard. So in here, this is where we're going to make the customization. Now, before we continue with this part here, I just want to show you that in settings, and if we go down to uh, keyboard, so I'm going to tap in Samsung keyboard. So in Samsung keyboard, in here, you can see there is a lot of things that we can already customize, such as changing the language of the keyboard. You can turn on smart typing with predictive text, such as emojis. You can turn on basic features like auto replace, such as, such as text corrections. You can make text shortcuts so that you can easily use a shortcut to put in a text phrase. And you can also turn on or turn off keyboard toolbars. You can turn on high contrast keyboard, change the theme of your keyboard. So you can change the theme of the keyboard. Uh, you can change the mode, so you can split the keyboard, standard keyboard or floating keyboard. You can also change the layout of the keyboard, change the font size of the keyboard. Uh, you can customize the symbols. You can set it to uh, the swipe keyboard, swipe controls, swipe to type, or cursor control or no swipe. Uh, you can change the backspace speed, keyboard touch and hold delayed, touch and hold space bar, touch feedback, speak keyboard input allowed, and keep simple panel open. Now, even with all of these um, settings that you can customize, it's still very limited to how you can rearrange characters on your keyboard. So that's why in addition to that settings, we can use Keys Cafe to customize your own keyboard. Okay, once you have installed this Keys Cafe, there are some preset, preset keyboard that you can use. Here we have a simple keyboard. This is a simple keyboard, what it looks like. If you like to use this simple keyboard, you can tap on the apply button. And now it has been applied. You can see that if I try to bring up the keyboard, this is the simple keyboard. And if I go back in here and choose 
um, Varac keyboard or Comac keyboard. This is what it looks like. And then tap on Applied. You can see that now if I go back to my notepad to bring up the keyboard, this is what it looks like. Okay, but because we want to customize the keyboard, so what we want to do is tap on the Add button. Right, so in here we have added, and then after that, we're going to tap on the edit button down here. Now you can swipe across and see uh, which keyboard to use Quarty keyboard, Azerty, and uh, Quartz keyboard. So I'm going to use this Quarty keyboard and then tap on edit. All right, once you are in the edit window, you can see at the top here are a list of all the different characters that you can assign to your keyboard down here. This is like a basically a keyboard template. And in the list here, you can go down and choose which characters that you want to use in this keyboard. So at the top here, you can see there is a number row. So instead of using this one number, I can uh, tap on number one. Let's say if I want to replace the character number one and I in the list here, I can replace it with a different character. So I can say, put this one in here instead of that one, I want with a circle. Then I can also tap on number two, then choose number two. So in here, you can go through each of the characters in the keyboard here and choose which character you want to replace the keyboard with. And in here are different uh, characters type that you can choose. So say so I can replace the G with an M down here. So G. So in here, I can replace the alternative key, but not the actual key itself. Okay, so with the number, I can replace it with a different number. So same text keys cannot be added more than once. Okay, so it's, I cannot add it. If it's already in here in the list, I cannot change it. So with the numbers key, I can actually change it to whatever keys I want. But on the actual um, characters, the letters, the alphabet um, letters, I cannot change it. I can only change the alternative at the top here, but not the actual characters at the bottom. And in here, you can go across the list and choose what you want to replace it with. That is the alternative characters at the top row. So let's say if I want to insert another row, I can tap on the insert button and it will allow me to insert another row here. So I'm going to go here and insert a row on top or bottom. So I can, you can also reverse the action. So if you make a mistake, you can reverse the action, undo and redo. So I'm trying to insert another row right at the top. So it will not allow me to do that. So um, let me just try to lock one of the character here and then try to insert a row. Okay, so now it allow me to insert another row here at the top. So in here, you can now replace it with a different characters. So in here, you can put in emoticons, icons, number two, number three, four, five, and then you can replace it with whatever you like. You can also make the key to become larger or smaller. So you can increase the width and the height of the character. Okay, so you can change them. You can also select multiple select. So you can also rearrange them here as well. You can see I can touch and hold and move them around the keyboards. Now, um, we can also um, select them all at once. Let me just try to remember how we can select them all at once. Okay, so uh, if you mess up with the size of your key, what we can do is touch and hold on one of the character to go into selection mode. And then you can tap on select all, or you can select um, certain keys and then you just tap on the equalize button and that will uh, basically equally resize all of your keys into the same size. All right, so after that we can deselect them and I'll go back, tap on the back key to go back to editing mode. And again, um, to uh, change the, to add in uh, alternate characters, you can uh, choose uh, down here and then you can uh, select the alternate characters. So in here I can add in uh, certain keys. I say can't drop this key here. So um, not all keys can uh, insert uh, the symbols. So you have, depends on what uh, keys it is. Uh, certain keys cannot accept uh, like icons like this. 
and we've got the at as well so in here number four i can use dot com and over here i've got all these different characters that i can insert it in as alternate characters or the actual character itself so in here certain keys will allow you to have alternate characters you can add it in and in here you have secondary alternate characters and here we got add we can add in extra uh, characters you can put in whatever you like it is really really um, easy to customize this keyboard it's very flexible you can uh, uh, customize exactly how you want it now at the moment this keyboard is a little bit messed up right now and if you mess it up you can always tap on the reset button at the top and start over again so i'm going to tap on yes and we can reconfigure again if you uh, kind of mess up so here i just insert an additional row at the top and from here you can see with if i press on number one it has all these additional alternative characters that i could use so let's say if i choose to accept this keyboard I tap on the accept key, then I rename it. So I'll call it IT uh, Jungles. Okay, this keyboard is a um, little bit different. So all the keys are a little bit in different uh, places. So I'm going to um, cancel this keyboard. I don't want to use, okay, so. Okay, so I'm going to now accept this keyboard and then Call it IT Jungles. So J U N. So we're missing N G L E S two and saved. All right. So now that we have saved that keyboard, and if I go back to my Samsung Note, you can see this is the keyboard right here. If I touch and hold on number one, you can see I have all these alternative characters that I can choose. Now, if I want, I can change them. So go back into Key Cafe and tap on that, then tap on Edit. And if I tap on number one in here, I can tap on that key and I can insert a different uh, character. So let's say I want to use that character. I want to add in number one, number two, no, not number two, so I will, I will undo that. So you need to tap on the alternative character and then uh, we add in a heart. Then uh, tap on the save button. So I'm going to increase the width of that character right there. And then I'm going to tap on saved and then tap on replace. All right, so now if I go back in here and bring up the keyboard, you can see now if I tap on that, I now have an additional alternative character that I can use. And the same as number two, I can use certain keys in here. If you don't like, you can also remove it from the keys uh, cafe. So we're just going to go back into edit mode. And so if there are some keys in here that you don't want to use, you can uh, remove it or replace it with a different uh, character. And in here, you can see the alternative character is question mark. You can also delete it and replace it with another key. Uh, in here, another symbols or another keys. And it is the alternative character. And yeah, so quite flexible. You can play around uh, with this keyboard and we configure the keyboard exactly how you want it. Uh, you will have different uh, configuration uh, than mine. And for example, the spacebar key, you can try to increase it, increase the width to make it a lot longer. If you like a long, big spacebar, you can make it a lot longer. You can add in other icons into your keyboard if you wanted to. If you want to add in additional row, you can also add in an additional row. Uh, if you mess it up, you can reset it. And then you can tap on the save button to replace the keyboard. Okay, so that is just config configuring your keyboard. If you go back in here, there is also style your own keyboard. So you can turn on the style and then tap on the left hand side panel. In here, there are different uh, styles that you can choose. Uh, these are all the preset styles. So you can choose that and then tap on applied, then tap on the start button, then tap on allow. They say it will need to uh, create a theme park. Once you have the theme park, you can see we have colors down here, effects, 
in sales so you can change different uh, themes then you can change different effects the effects is when you tap on the key it will create that effects on the background and also sound as well so you can add a sound to your uh, keyboard so you can turn them on or off for sound uh, I think um, for the styles it will apply to all of them so we've got sounds we've got effects and we've got colors and this is the themes that I have just chosen. So if I go back in here and turn on my keyboard, you can hear the sound. Okay, so if I go back in here and choose a different uh, style, uh, let's say something that's quite stand out, red color. And every time I choose a, a different style, it will install a new theme park. And that's it, so now, we have effects and sound. Let's choose a different effects right here. Different colors and different sound. Space touch sound. And I tap on the back key. And then if I go back in here, you can see if I bring up my keyboard. All right, so that's that. And then in here you got my stickers. You can create and edit custom, custom stickers set that you can use with the Samsung keyboard so uh, now in here you can create your own custom uh, stickers using the image from your gallery and the other option is play keyboard game show off your samsung keyboard typing skill with this uh, games right here which is not really important and the last option is the advanced keyboard settings customize your keyboard settings in detail longer space bar while you are typing auto replacement sensitivity and double tap interval of three by four keyboards. So if you like, you can turn on any of these features right here. And that's it. That is quite a comprehensive customization of your Samsung keyboard. Uh, that is in addition to the Samsung keyboard settings, which you can already uh, customize quite a lot from the Samsung keyboard settings. But uh, however, if you want to go all in and customize everything, then you need to download the Goodlot app and uh, Keys Cafe. And after that, you will be able to uh, customize your keyboard exactly how you want it. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.